Welcome back to BT. Good morning, Toronto. Good morning, Canada. Mayor Deshaw sits Xero here with you. Our next guest is one of the celebrity captains for NHL All-Star Weekend. He is a national treasure. He has sold 75 million records globally. Won a Grammy. Million. You heard him. Michael Bublé in the place to be. Oh. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And now, instead of records, I do downloads. I did 8 <laughs> billion downloads last year, which means... I made thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place, Mr. Boobler. Streaming Boobler. king. This is what I bought. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Yeah, Tim Horns is happy to have that. How are you guys doing this morning? Hey, you guys look good. We're so good. We're so happy that you're here. You look good too. But I know you've been busy. One of the NHL captains of this All Star Weekend. I know how cool, huh? How cool. So cool. Is like this they, a dream come true? Are you kidding? You know, say it's like this is what every kid in their parents' basement, you know, ruining the drywall with the, the you know, slap shots. This is, what you, this is what you die for. You know, you dream for this day. I mean, you guys were all, I was curious how the setup would be last night. For those who missed it, mm -hmm. all four teams were essentially at center ice making picks. Everyone's mic'd up. <laughs> like, you were on Team Jack Hughes. I know Jack can't play, but you guys went, shockingly, heavy Vancouver Canuck theme. Well, each to team. To the Buble squad. Yeah, each team. It's funny. Each team, like the, Bla the Maple Leafs have their guys. Yeah. Yep. You got the Oilers with their guys. Mm -hmm. So it kind of, you know, it was. But what was shocking to me was I thought, like, in my dreamscape, we would have these beautiful kind of. But no, dude, you guys want It was like the first pick. I was like, so who's the first pick? Is it, you know, is it this Canuck or that Canuck? And they all just like looked at me and they were like, it's Cooch or Pasta. And I was like, okay, I see what we're doing here. <laughs> this is, we it's are switched. They want to win the game and yeah. at any we'll cost. We'll take the guy who might get 150 points that's, in the league this year. That's him. We'll yeah. take Cooch or up. I, I mean, I love the team too, so. Well, Very you tough. know a thing or two about winning. I mean, it's Grammy winning weekend this weekend. Mm -hmm. Did I win? Did I win? <laughs> we'll find out soon. We'll soon find out on and Sunday. if you didn't, you got robbed. Mm. But what's I just that? lie about it every time. <laughs> anyway. People what's, never know. What's more nerve wracking? What are you finding more nerve wracking? Kind of a Grammy heading into a Grammy weekend or a Grammy stage kind of performance or, or this sort of NHL action? This NHL thing wasn't weird at all. This was so much fun. Like, and I love the dude. I'm mean, Will Arnett. This dude is every, exactly what you think he is. Great dude. Bieber's a great kid. Uh, Tate, I'd never met her before, but she was like having fun. And uh, all the boys are, I mean, I know most of these hockey players. I, like, I was in heaven yesterday. And wasn't even just getting to do the whole thing, drafting them, but it was like, you know, getting to meet Brian Trache. Do you know who Brian Trache is? I do now. <laughs> Brian Trache, one of the greats ever. Crushed my heart many times. They won four Stanley Cups in a row with the New York Islanders, beating my Canucks. The only guy that took him out of that five peat was Gretzk. And all that. But this is like, these guys are heroes to me, man. It's so beautiful to get to meet them. So, so who else, uh, like that was part of the question I had for you, because uh, uh, people get starstruck when they meet you constantly. Mm -hmm. uh, who, other than Trache, like who, and even of the current guys, who, who do you still get a little kind of, Oh, it's him, or it's her. Like who? Like who, who? do you run into in the world of hockey where it's like that? The world of hockey. Um, well, there's guys that I always love, like Berkey. You know, Brian. I, I mean, I know him. I don't get weird, but I just I love him, man. And you it's know, impressive. like it's always. I'm just excited to. I love Wayne. Wayne is such a beautiful. Like I, 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 I run into Wayne Gretzky all the time, and I. It never gets old, and he's always so cool and just so easy and. Um, I think we went to a wedding once, and uh, I think we had different tables. <laughs> and I think Gretzky was there, like, no, Bublé's gonna sit here. And it was the power of Gretzky. <laughs> and like, wow. and I'm not gonna even say there were big celebrities at this table, and he literally was like, they shall move. Can and they moved. And I was like, I was sitting with Gretzky, and I was like, uh huh, what the great one. That's a great uh, one. Can you admit who was bounced from that table? Or I is that can, an unfair story? I cannot admit. <laughs> okay, that's an unfair okay. story. But, but if you heard who they were, you'd be like, no, they should not be bounced from that table. <laughs> you know? I can't wait for them. And what do your, I mean, what do your kids think of all this? What, what are, are they a sports family? It runs deep, clearly oh, for you. My kids, my, it's weird. I got like, listen, I fell in love with an Argentinian woman. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's soccer, football. Football. So I go, we play hockey, and then my kid, Eli, scores, dangles, scores a little goal, and then he does this weird thing like this, and I get confused because I don't understand the celebration. You know, he scores, and I say, like, come on, man, stick up in the air, and he was like this, and I say, what is that? And he says, it's Ronaldo. 
Oh, it's the... Oh. Yeah, it's a mashup. Yeah. And I yeah. go, like, dude, Ronaldo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hang on. I go, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> so it's really weird to be this Canadian with these weird little Mexican, Argentinian... There's a kids. crossover going it's on. It's a weird crossover, but <laughs> it's, it's fun. Worldwide. Um, uh, we we yeah. always love when you come by. Before we let you go, because you're going to be... like, so, so walk me through tomorrow. Sure. You're going to be on the bench... On with with the rest of the coaching staff for Team Jack Hughes and the Vancouver. On a bench, I'm guessing I'm going to be there with Rick, Rick Tockett. A lot of yelling. a lot. Listen, I hope they understand, and I know they do. This isn't going to be a fun thing. I didn't draft <laughs> Brady Kachuk. I didn't draft Brady. I want pretty. I want you want McK to send a you message. I want McKinnon's <laughs> coming, dips a doodle, flying down the center. Boom. <laughs> Uh, it is going to be fantastic. Uh, Michael, it's, it's great that you came in. I know your schedules are nuts mm -hmm. for these three days. Yeah, man. We appreciate you coming in. Uh, again, the All-Star Game tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern on Sportsnet. Four teams drafted last night. Uh, Team Jack Hughes and Michael Buble will be a part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Buble. Michael.